Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited because we are going to be talking about some new releases of fall fragrances. So if you are in the mood for some of these warm, cozy, comforting fragrances, I've definitely got a few to recommend to you, as well as a few warmer florals that sort of bridge the gap into the fall months. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about some amazing fall fragrances, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm so excited to be back talking about fragrances, but I have some amazing new fragrances that I want to share with you because these are perfect for this time of year. So the first one I want to share with you is this new fragrance. This is from Etat Libre d'Ange and this is Frustration. And this one is completely fall in a bottle. So if you love sort of a nutty vanilla fragrance, something that's going to be creamy, comforting, definitely warm and cozy, I think you're going to love this new release. When I first sprayed this out, it happened to be a rather wet, chilly kind of dank day here in the Pacific Northwest. The trees here have turned colors. The leaves were falling all over the lawn. And I was like, wow, this fragrance is like fall in a bottle here. So let me read the notes to you really quick. So the notes in here are cumin, cinnamon, pure rum jungle essence, pure vanilla jungle essence, Vanilla Absolute, Cyst Absolute, Chestnut Wood Accord, Bourbon Vitiver, Vinyl Gyacol, and Main Biotech. So a few notes in there that I'm not exactly sure what they are, but I will tell you that this is a very vanillic fragrance. To me, it has this nuttiness to it. So I definitely am smelling that chestnut. And when you first spray this out, you are going to get a little blast of spices at the front end. Definitely smell the cinnamon. So to me, again, it had like cinnamon and vanilla and chestnuts roasting over the fire. And it did remind me a little bit of the Mason Margiela um, by the fireplace, which I love. So that is the vibe that you're going to be getting from this fragrance. But there isn't a smoky element in this one. To me, this has more of a dose of vanilla in it. It is very warm and comforting. It also has a little bit of that niche element. That's what I'm saying. There's a few notes in there that I don't know exactly um, what they are, but this brand always has something that's a little interesting in their fragrances. And that's what I would say is there's definitely something in here that's just a little bit different. This is not sure like, classic vanilla fragrance. This one's got some depth and some interest to it and it just smells so good. So if you're somebody that likes a bit of nuttiness or you love chestnut, I don't always see a lot of chestnut as the note in perfume, but you do smell like chestnuts roasting over the fire. Like that's the vibe that it's going to be giving you, but without the smoky element, that's what I'm saying. The difference between the by the fireplace, but I don't find that this has that smoky note that by the fireplace does. It just has that roasting chestnut smell to it. So definitely nutty. This one is comforting the dry down on this is going to dry down into a warm vanilla slightly woody fragrance so it's very comforting it has this gourmand touch um, I do almost it doesn't have a coffee note in here but for some reason when I'm smelling this it reminds me of some sort of lovely delicious 
coffee drink, like a delicious mocha with some whip on top of it, like something that you're going to indulge in and it's a cold day and you're sipping this and you, and you can smell that cinnamon that has been sprinkled on top of this drink. So these are the vibes that I'm getting. It's so appropriate for fall. But ultimately, this dries down to a gorgeous, warm vanilla fragrance. I would say it has a big dose of vanilla. So you have to be somebody who loves vanilla. It is going to lean adult vanilla. This is not super sweet. It is a nutty, creamy vanilla fragrance. And to me, this really is truly the perfect fall fragrance. I just love the bottle here. Super pretty, but this has this kind of rich fall colors. You think of the beautiful fall leaves. I wanted to share this beauty with you because I've been having a lot of fun wearing this. Okay, the next fragrance I have to share with you is from Maison Crevelli, and this is Ombre Chromatique. And this is one of the most interesting amber fragrances I have ever experienced. So I love amber and fragrances. I love it as the base with florals, and I just find it to be very warm, rich, a little bit resinous. And this fragrance is so interesting to me because there is a cool note in here as well as a warm underbelly. So it's just not like my typical like amber fragrances. Like I want to think of like Grand Soir from Maison Francis Kirkjohn, um, Amber Nui from Dior, things like that. This is going to be very different and very unique. So the dominant note in here is incense. So if you're somebody who loves those kind of incense rich fragrances, I think you might want to get your nose on this. This is a heavy dose of incense. It also has the CO2 extract of pink peppercorn, Davana essential oil, Esmanthus absolute, Benzoin absolute, Bourbon Vanilla Absolute and Akagala Wood. Mm. Okay, so this one is very intoxicating to me. Again, very different. This is one that I would want everybody to sample before buying. I wouldn't say this is a blind buy whatsoever, but it has this really nice spiciness to it. The note of Asmanthus to my nose usually smells a bit like chewy apricots. Like there's this kind of apricot sweetness that I get from that note. But this one has a lot of incense in here. I almost smell like a little bit of leather in here. It's very rich, just like an amber fragrance should be. But there is this sharpness or coolness to it that I think is really unique. That's what I'm saying. It's got sort of like this iciness to this fragrance as well as this spicy warmth. Um, really unique. This one smells very classy. Definitely a unisex fragrance. And I know I keep on coming back to this, but I think what is so cool about this fragrance is that there is this sort of cool and cold note to here, but then there's this like really warm resinous feeling that you also get of course from amber. You definitely need to like incense fragrances because that's going to stick with you the whole way out. This does dry down and then the asmanthus and the vanilla start to shine through when I'm wearing this fragrance. This one has a really unique presence to it. That's what I would say. This one's going to be unique. It has this way of making you feel sort of classy, it has some presence to it. And as far as presence, I would say if you loved the Chanel the new launch, the Le Lyon um, fragrance, that one had huge presence. Like I did feel like I was going into a church and I could smell that rich 
incense burning. In this one, you definitely get that incense, but maybe it is the pink peppercorn or there's some note in here that kind of lifts it up. It almost gives it a cleanness. So I usually think of ambers or sort of these yummy, rich, resinous fragrances, but this one has a bit of cleanness to it as well. And this one is just like really unique. So I would describe this as heavy on the incense, amber, and the pink pepper. And then you're going to have a little layer of sweetness, some florals with that asmanthus and that touch of vanilla in here. So this is another unique fragrance that I would recommend to anybody who loves incense, who loves amber and is looking for something a bit interesting sort of outside of the box. Okay the next fragrance I want to talk about is from Henry Rose and this is a very unique brand. This was created by Michelle Pfeiffer and this is a clean fragrance brand. This is called Dark is night. This is another fragrance that's going to be perfect for all and this is a patchouli vanilla fragrance with some woods in here. This one is definitely a bit sexy. It is easy to wear and when I did spray this on it did remind me pretty immediately of Givenchy Linterdeet. So if that is something that you love and you're looking for maybe a clean version of that, I would check this out. They are not total dupes, but I did kind of have that same vibe. So this is a warm, luxurious patchouli scent. So the patchouli in this one is going to be a little earthy, just a tinge earthy, but I would stay, say that it still has a little bit of that cleanness here. This one is going to be kind of your sexy fragrance. There's something sensual about it. Big dose of vanilla in here. You're going to smell that, but the combination of that vanilla and patchouli together just gives you these cozy vibes. It is slightly sweet. This one is a compliment getter. I think that patchouli fragrances are often kind of surprise compliment getters. <laughs> There's something in patchouli that's kind of magnetic and that is what I would say Darkest Night is a about. This was one that my husband actually asked me what I'm wearing, that he said I smelled good, which I was sort of surprised by. I had kind of doused myself in this because my husband rarely asks me. He knows that I'm into perfume and such, but this was one that he's like, oh, that smells really good. And I had to laugh because secretly he thinks that he hates patchouli. Um, so again, case in point, a lot of times people think they don't like patchouli patchouli, but it's in many of the fragrances uh, that they're kind of attracted to. And I wanted to give a little shout out to this fragrance because it's fun to wear, totally fall appropriate, and I've just been curious about this brand and now it makes me want to explore it a bit more um, because this is a really nice offering from Henry Rose. Now for my floral lovers, I have two fragrances that are perfect kind of as bridging the gap. These would be considered year rounders, but sometimes there's floral fragrances that don't quite smell right in the winter months. Um, they are more suited towards warm weather, things that are going to be appropriate for spring and summer. But this next one, I feel like bridges the gap. This is a year rounder, but this one is sort of a warm floral gourmand fragrance. This is from Tower and this is called Golestan, which I believe means garden party or garden. And wow, this is one of the most interesting floral fragrances that I've ever smelled. 
It's going to take you on a ride. But if you are somebody who gravitates towards floral fragrances, I think you're going to want to check this one out. I really fell in love with this one. It is just gorgeous. This one also has a touch of patchouli in here. Yep, I'm getting ready for my patchouli video that I'm going to be doing with Mandy Davis. And this one has some patchouli in here, some vanilla. But let me read the top notes. The top notes are bergamot, lemon zest, and ylang ylang. The middle notes are orange blossom, damask rose, jasmine, and tuberose. The base notes are ambergreen, cystus and canis, patchouli, vanilla, and woody notes. And I think what I love about this fragrance is that it's got this gorgeous bouquet of florals. You definitely smell the florals in here. Just stunning. But that warm base with that ambergris, the patchouli, little touch of vanilla in here sort of grounds everything and makes it a little bit more appropriate for the winter months. And that ylang ylang always adds a bit of creaminess. So this is going to be a creamy, floral fragrance with an amber base and a little smidge of that vanilla sweetness. It really is so stunning. And I have to say this brand is known for its longevity. Like these fragrances are an X straight version. You don't need a lot and it is going to have a cloud around you going to last all day long and I really like the way that this sort of bounced around on my skin. We were at Fumery PDX and trying many perfumes but I had sprayed this on my skin because I liked it on paper but I always like to try things on my skin. Walked outside and again it was a little bit cooler that day. It had rained and it just really kind of blossomed on my skin. I was getting those lush florals but I was also getting that warmth and creaminess that made me feel like it would be appropriate during the fall. So a lot of times we're going to be focusing on fragrances such as these ones when the weather gets colder and kind of moving away from our lighter brighter florals but this one is this rich warm amber gourmand floral that I'm just in love with. Of course, the bottle is outstanding as well, but I can see myself enjoying this fragrance right now, but also coming into spring, summer, like this is just a very luscious floral fragrance that I know that I'm personally going to be enjoying for quite some time. So I wanted to mention that because this just launched and I just kind of fell in love with this. And it was kind of fun because when we were spraying it on um, with others in the store, we were having everybody smell each other and everybody was like, no, that's the one. It smells so good on you. So for my warm floral lovers, I would definitely get your nose on this stunner because it is so gorgeous. And then last but not least, this is not a new release, but this is one that I have been grabbing for lately. You've already heard me talk about it on my channel, but they just started carrying this line at Twisted Lily, which made me so excited because this is a very special offering. And this is from Widian, and this is Liwa. And this is my Stunner Wow fragrance. This is the one that I bought when I was in San Francisco with my son. So it has some really good memories. We both just sort of fell in love with it. It was one of those fragrances that I smelled and I was like, wow, this is the one. This is stunning. It is special. It makes me feel like a million bucks. Like it is so good. So the notes in here are going to be jasmine, saffron, bergamot, artemisia. In the heart, it is amberwood, white flowers, geranium. In the base, it is cedarwood, patchouli, sandalwood, vetiver and oud essence. This is what I call my wowzer fragrance. This has been compared to Baccarat Rouge 5 
40 and to me it does not smell anything like that but it has that same special vibe about it um, with that fragrance it has this beautiful cloud that you know even if you can't smell yourself others are going to smell you they're going to ask you what you're wearing it has the most amazing scent trail and this one has that as well this just smells so crazy insanely delicious i just love it and if you've ever smelled um anisio's oud for greatness that one also has that unique presence about it so I would say there's a touch of that one in here um, it has the same Baccarat 540 vibes this one is just so magnetic it is so stunning it's so fun to wear as well this one I definitely get compliments on so maybe that is um, kind of the reason why it gets compared to Baccarat 540 I feel like that one is just sort of a stunner where people ask you what you're wearing you're gonna get that same way with Liwa I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on and wear it today it smells so amazing I definitely am smelling that Artemisia I feel like that may be the special note in here that I'm really attracted to not quite sure but I feel like this is another perfect warm floral that is perfect for fall. Love this so much. And since I just launched it at Twisted Lily, I was super excited and wanted to pull it out because Bisma and I were together and we were loving on this. And then the next thing I know, I got an email that they were starting to carry it. And I do have my code at Twisted Lily, Abby10. I'll always leave the information below in the description box. I always like to share any sort of discount code I can give you guys. I'll always leave below in the description box on fragrances that apply to that. So, so I just wanted to give a little shout out to Liwa because I feel like it is very fall appropriate as well. So see, these are some of my fun fall fragrances that I've been rotating through. And of course, I always love to hear from you. What have you been loving on lately? What's your favorite fall fragrance? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments. Let me know if there's something I must get my nose on. And I hope everybody is having a fantastic weekend and I will be back with another video soon.